What you guys got another video here for you on how to kill a program process in Windows 10 via PowerShell. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. Now PowerShell is a very powerful tool which allows you to uh, kill processes via that method. Now if you look at Task Manager here and you'll see a bunch of uh, named processes down here and of course when you go inside here up the top here you should see a little area called name if we right click on this area here we can add in some extra things like PID which is the PID number and uh, we can uh, enable those and the reason why we want to do that is because we want to enable those so we can see uh, the numbers for that process because every single process has its own PID number so what we're going to do is uh, show you a bunch of ways to actually uh, kill these processes in uh, PowerShell so I'm just going to quickly reorganize these and you can see here I'm just putting them into the right order here there we go so we're going to think right here and we want it so I've got process name enabled and also uh, PID now the process name will be the name of that process which is the one that you might have to type in uh, to close that process off we've also got them down this side here so let's open up uh, PowerShell here it's important that we run PowerShell as administrator so right click on the start button and open up PowerShell with administrator privileges so as you can see here I've got a bunch of different processes here that we're going to be using We've got notepad here so I've opened up four different notepads and we'll be using those to close off one at a time and using different commands so you can see they're all listed here and they've all got separate uh, PID numbers and uh, the process name is the same so for the first command we're going to be closing off one of these uh, notepads and we'll be using uh, this actual PID number so let's go ahead and type that into PowerShell and what we need to do is type in stop dash process and then we can do space dash ID and then you need to put in the process ID number uh, which is uh, the one we've just uh, talked about there so that is the 11820 so if I just show you this here you should see this one just disappear here as soon as I push enter it will disappear and the reason for that is because we're closing it down via the process ID number and it should just disappear there you go it's just gone so that's the first one and that's using the process ID number next up we're going to do another command which will close off another notepad and this time we're going to be using uh, the stop process uh, by name so if you do stop dash process space dash name and then name the process you want to close it will close off all of those processes in one go so you can use the PID method to close off just one process one particular process but if you use this name version it will close all of these notepads off in one go so you you're not being specific to one sort of uh, process that you want to uh, close so it will just close off all of them named notepad which is a little bit more different because you might not want to do that so there's two different ways of doing that there so next up what we're going to do here is I've opened another notepad and what we're going to do is close this off using the task kill uh, command and we'll be using the PID to kill that via task kill so for that you need to type in here task kill and then space forward slash F then space forward slash PID and then space the PID number and uh, that will be the number for the notepad there you can see it listed there 152 Eight zero. yours will be a different number because obviously all PID numbers will be different and when you push enter it will close that um, process off so you can use that method as well and these are great for uh, malware and stuff like that or rogue uh, processes that are hard to close and you can use these methods to actually close them off very useful uh, to learn so I've opened up notepad again and we're going to do another one here and uh, basically what we're going to do is another way of uh, closing it by name using the task kill so what we'll do is type in task kill space forward slash im and then space process name 
which is the name of the process that you want to close. In this case, it'd be notepad and then space forward slash F. And that will basically force that to close. So we'll just do that there. And you should see that disappear when I push enter. And there we go. And that's now terminated that process. Very simple. So what we're going to do next is try one more here. So let's go ahead and do another one. So the task kill commands were really sort of designed for command prompt and the use in command prompt, but you can use those in PowerShell. So that's why you see me using them in PowerShell, but PowerShell commands won't run in command prompt. So we're going to do stop dash process space dash name and then space process name and then dash force. This will be the command that you would use if you wanted to do this in PowerShell. So this will work in PowerShell. So if you try and do this in command prompt, it won't work. The task kill one will work in PowerShell and also in command prompt. So we can see here we've got notepad open again and we'll push enter here and that will kill that process off. So we've just killed those processes off using different types of commands inside PowerShell. Some were designed for command prompt and some were designed for, uh, you know, uh, PowerShell. So that previous one was to do it by name. So we're going to do another one called stop dash process space dash ID, then give it the PID number and then dash false. And this is another PowerShell command, which you can use to kill a process by using the uh, PID number and using the false command to end that process. So you can see here, we've got the notepad.exe running here and we've got the number in there and it will should uh, close that uh, process down and terminate it like so. Very simple and easy to do. So that's that process uh, killed. So that's basically how you can kill a bunch of processes inside PowerShell using uh, command prompt uh, commands and also PowerShell commands. And we did that all in PowerShell. Now you can obviously do some of those in command prompt, but if you're getting used to PowerShell, you can still use a, a lot of those commands inside there. Hope this one's been useful to you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.